Good morning, everyone. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your daily reading for you. Going to burn just a little bit of the Palo Santo here this morning. I hope all of my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans are doing well today. I hope you all are happy, healthy, and having some fun. Life is meant to be enjoyed. What a beautiful way to start the day. All right. Let's go ahead and get into your reading here. This is your daily message. Whatever comes out, comes out. Libras, you have just rolled very strong. Libra, Pisces, and Gemini um, energies here. You also have Aquarius, Capricorn, and Taurus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, those may be signs of people that you are dealing with, but more than likely, those are energies... Um, and characteristics of those signs within your own birth chart that are activated at this time. The Hierophant is showing himself here in your pre-shuffle. All right, let's go ahead and see what your heart of the matter, challenges, what's on your mind, your immediate future, how you view this yourself handling whatever's coming your way. And we'll get the most likely outcome. At the end, I will draw one angel number for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is going to be for this message. Six of Swords, moving on, moving past, leaving something behind that was difficult, challenging. Could have been a difficult conversation and you're like, oh, it is what it is at this point. Um, the words have been said. I can't undo what's been said, either you or what somebody else said. But you're moving on. Yes, yeah, somebody may have, like, said something hurtful, painful. on You know, ugh, just not good. And you're just going to, you're choosing not to sit in that energy. All right? Wherever you're going, wherever you're heading, definitely better energy than where you are currently at. Okay, or where where you are going to find yourself soon. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have as an obstacle or challenge to you moving forward, moving away from this uh, difficult conversation or situation. Not sure what you want to do with this. The Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so it could be... You love this person, you love this job, you love whatever it is, um, you have good feelings with it. It's a pretty stable situation, but it feels like this is what's growing. The need to distance yourself from something here. To put something behind you that's been growing and developing, and maybe you just want to cut it off at the roots. Uh, it's a little late for that. So I think you're going to, if this is a person that's talking to you in a certain way, I don't think you're going to tolerate it much longer. Um, but you're trying to figure out how to deal with this. That's your challenge, your obstacle here. How to continue to grow the relationship or the career or whatever, but minimize the effects of what are, whatever is happening here so that life can become easier. You've got this uh, vision of life is a little bit greener on the other side of this fence. So if you can just get to that point, you'll be happier is what you're telling yourself. And I, I do feel that um, it's a challenge to figure out how to get there. Okay, so what are the steps to get there? That's what you're contemplating here. All right, let's go ahead and see what's on your mind. What is going on inside that head of yours, my lovelies? Got two cards here. All right, King of Cups. Yeah, I'm hearing you want emotional stability. You're putting on a brave face, but you're also holding back your emotions here. Like you're trying to be more analytical, more grounded. I feel like there's a storm internally going on within you. And you're just seeking a way to move past this energy, to move past whatever's happening here. 
I'm getting that. Um, oh, yeah. See, I was getting energies between two people, brothers, sisters, siblings, co-workers, peers, you know, people who are kind of equals. And now we've got the double kings here. There could be an element of you deciding if you want to strike out on your own, do something on your own, maybe cut something out here that is just growing too big. You don't want to put any more effort into that and you want to strike out on your own with this King of Wands energy. Um, it could be about a partnership here at work within a family dynamic where maybe both of you have been working to do something within the family, but you're ready to like say, you know what, I need to do my own thing here. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I do definitely get some sort of um, situation between two men, two, two brothers, in fact. Could be between two sisters who are very um, confident, very capable. Could be a male and female, but I, I really do feel like it's the same. You, you share the same energy as this person. And you know what I'm getting to? Yeah. For one or two of you, it could be you are external to this. You might be a divine feminine to two brothers. And you're like, you know what? This is just getting out of hand here. I want to move away from this energy. I want to strike out on my own. All right, let's go ahead and see what your immediate future looks like. The nine of wands, it's going to be difficult, but you'll get through it. Okay, you're not giving up on yourself you're not giving up on a happier brighter future you're not giving up on these people this is not about giving up at all and even when you're letting go of something you're not giving up you're actually just moving forward which the six of swords indicates too right now though you're having in your immediate future you may have to concede something i just got a message about Possibly divvying up um, assets here within a business, within a family unit. So like a will has been distributed, an inheritance, a business is being dissolved or run still. It could still be, you know, you're in partnership with your siblings. But I do feel like there's a, um, a possible divvying of assets and you may have to concede on one thing in order to gain something else. Just, maybe even just the peace. Yeah, I'm hearing you may want to bow out gracefully. You might choose to, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm hearing that this may be your energy. What you choose to do is to bow out gracefully. That's your decision. Every decision is always your own. You get to decide exactly how you want to respond to any situation. All right, let's go ahead and see what the past influences are here. Six of Pentacles. Things used to be balanced, um, used to be fair. I do feel like you as a Libra energy may have been the glue that was holding things in balance. You know, you were the one holding the scales. Maybe you were the one in charge of the books, of keeping the business and the... Um, creative processes of whatever was going on in balance. It could have been you keeping the two siblings in balance, keeping everybody in balance. Whatever it was, you were doing a really good job here. You will benefit from this act action in the past. So somebody else may take a knee, may bow out gracefully. So that you do receive something in the past. Maybe you received a gift in the past and that's why you're willing to bow out gracefully now. All right, let's go ahead and see what uh, how you're viewing yourself in this situation. This is definitely a different reading from anything I've had for you guys for a while. It doesn't feel bad. It feels like it's a situation that you had to deal with. You kind of knew this may be coming. Um, there may have been an argument between you and your siblings or partners or co-workers over how things are going to be done, how to make everything right, what to keep, what to let go of. Yeah, it really just feels like 
trying to get through it. Okay, so you're a little concerned here. You got double nines, though. So you're releasing the energy. I think you will choose to <clears throat> allow things to progress. You're not... <clears throat> You are not seeking anything. I've, I, 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 in what I'm feeling for your energy is peace. Like you just want to make it right and fair for everybody. And you're worried that you're maybe not doing that. Okay. You're concerned. I, you feel like you're doing that, but you've got fears that those around you don't see it the same way. So you may be losing some sleep right now, trying to figure this out, trying to keep the peace, worried that people are judging you, um, angry with you, even though this is literally like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you don't have any control over the situation. I'm getting something of like a fiduciary situation, okay? Okay. You handle the money for, say, your parents and your siblings have always been fine with it because everything has always been done fairly, whatever. But now it's time to divvy up the assets and they're coming at you as if you can do anything different than what you've been doing all along. OK, you have certain rules you have to follow. And I feel like there's siblings or partners or co-workers that are saying, you need to be giving more to, to me. And then this one's saying, no, to me. It, it just feels like conflict in the background. And it's not that big of a deal because your hands are tied. You can only do so much, but this is how you feel. It's just like, wow, I really can't do anything different than what I'm doing here. I'm being as fair and balanced as I, I can be. I'm looking at everybody's opinions. I'm looking at everybody's ideas. I'm handling everything exactly as I'm supposed to be. But people around you are just not satisfied. All right. Let's go ahead and see what is happening in the environment around you. What is happening here with the people, the situation around you concerning this situation? Ooh, tower moment here. Somebody's ego is going to take a shock. And I'm getting it's one of these two kings energies here. One of the people around you, it's going to be a shake up. It's going to be a wake up call, a realization that you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing that you can't. Like, I, I'm almost getting like somebody saying to you, um, if, if you're at work and you're working on a project and this person's over here saying, we need to invest $50,000 in this, we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do this, and that's the only way it's going to work. And this person over here is counterbalancing and saying, no, we have to put $50,000 into this. Somebody here is going to have a major wake-up call because you can't give $50,000 to either one of them. Okay, it, that's just the way it is. And it just feels like it's going to be a shake-up, a wake-up. Um, that somebody may have their ego bruised, okay? They're going to be like, oh, wow, snap. I didn't realize that's the way things worked. Again, that's exactly what it is. They didn't realize that you were doing everything exactly the way it was supposed to be. It wasn't like you were ever playing favorites with anybody or anything else. Yeah, you'd, you'd been carrying the burden by yourself. Ten of Wands. Okay, so you were kind of trying to just do it all. Maybe that um, was something that could have been explained at some point that this is just how it is. You may have done that too. And these people just maybe didn't listen, didn't want to believe it. All right, let's go ahead and see what else is going on here for you. Now, if this uh, message is making sense to you, if you understand it, then it's for you. If it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, sit back. Kind of let the information fall over you over the next day or two because it, it definitely feels like this is going to resonate with a lot of you, okay? Don't try to force it. Let spirit guide you through the message and bring you what works for your life and what does not, okay? How does this fit with your situation? Spirit will guide you. All right, let's see what else we've got here. 
Oh, look at that. The sun card, the truth, clarity, understanding, making everything click and fall into place. And I do feel like that is what you've been trying to do. And if, if once this tower moment hits, I do feel like that's exactly what happens. Everybody's got a new focus. Everybody's got a, um, a, a new desire, a new... A new perspective is what it is. Not a desire, but a new perspective. All right. And now we're going to start at the beginning is what I'm hearing. Let's see what the most likely outcome is going to be here. Victory. Look at this. You are the one in control of this situation. You have the last say. You have the final word. And everything is going to work out right. The emperor is like overseeing the whole big picture the corporation the family the situation whatever it is okay there's peace there's a bridge look at this you find the answer but it is your your responsibility and it is up to you it's your final say okay you are the one with the final word all right and look at that ten of wands on the bottom of the deck again however all of that changes after this tower moment with a chariot and then the four pentacles. So stability comes back in here. Yeah, it's been a while coming in, but it's coming. All right. Oh, look at that. You've got double five of pentacles. You've got the four of pentacles and then the knight of pentacles. So that's five of pentacles. But this is the knight bringing it in. Okay, bringing in whatever's been missing. Sanctuary now with this Five of Pentacles. Look at that. Temperance balance is restored. And there's the new start with that Page of Pentacles. But now you're more stable. Everybody's got a fresh start. Everybody's starting off equal, level, balanced, harmonious. All right, let's see what your angel number is going to be for you today. Look at this. <laughs> Just look at this. Zero, zero, zero. The Great Reset, first of all. Okay, starting fresh. Guidance. Angel whispers, you have full support of the divine. And the guidance that you are seeking is here. Your life is moving in the right direction. This is the start of a new beginning where one cycle has ended and a new one will begin. Your positive affirmation, if you so choose to use it, is I trust in the magic of the new beginning. I feel the support and guidance that is all around me. All right, my lovely Libras, this is a great message. You find the answers. You're moving forward. Somebody may have a bit of a shake up here, but they're going to realize that there's nothing that you can do differently. You're doing everything balanced and fair. Everything's been above board, but you do find peace for the kingdom. Okay, whatever kingdom that is, your tribe, your family, your community, your workforce, your team, whatever it is, you will be the one with the final decision here and peace is made. Okay. The knowledge is used. A bridge is gapped. A gap is bridged. There we go. And if this message did align with your life and it made sense, please go ahead and tickle tap, boop or zap that like button. Claim it in the comments. Feel free to share this. Okay. Also, if you are interested in a personal reading, please go ahead and email me. I will send you on, um, I will reply with all the information you need on how it works and how much it costs. Until our energy crosses again, I am going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.